Next, we have our apolitical um, uh, palette cleanser up next. We're still talking about the wet. This one. Wait, sorry. All right, there we go. A political palette from Zero for Saturday, January 13th, which is my interest seven year anniversary. We started dating seven years ago today and uh, got married just over five years ago. So, happy anniversary! Happy anniversary. All right, so bomb cyclone hitting the United States. Winter storm beginning, or bringing snow, powerful winds, and Arctic cold. That was just some. What's that? That was just some. This is the, the latest wave. Amazing. Oh, that's really quiet. There you go. Apologize for that. Okay. The brutal winter weather in the form of a bomb cyclone detonating across the country. With another round of twisters and hail hammering the south and blizzards slamming the Midwest with blinding snow and whipping winds causing whiteout conditions, snarling roads and blanketing neighborhoods. We're mainly dealing with accidents. Temperatures plunging well below zero, setting the stage for possibly the coldest Iowa caucus in history Monday with wind chills expected to feel like 30 below. And more avalanches in the west. Near Stevens Peak in Idaho, authorities say two people were rescued. One is still missing. And a second avalanche in Lake Tahoe after one Wednesday killed one person and buried three others, including Jason Parker. You said you couldn't move. No, you, you can't move at all. It's, it's a scary feeling. Rescuers seen here digging for Parker, who was trapped under close to four feet of snow. They found him Imagine. after eight minutes. I started yelling, help, help, as, as much as I could. My adrenaline's rushing. My, I just, uh, it was, it was so, it was surreal. In the Northeast, another round of torrential rain is set to worsen ongoing flooding. Rivers in New Jersey still rising from the last round of severe weather earlier this week. Hard hit communities nationwide preparing for more blows as Mother Nature shows no sign of letting up. This just makes me think of that textbook that was going around in the it's a meme but it was a picture from a textbook going around in the 80s talking about climate change and it says uh, direct visual or results will be visible by the mid 2020s mm -hmm. and here we fucking are because we spent 40 years digging around for corporate profits thinking about talking about starting Maybe a committee that's going to decide whether we should start contemplating talking about this issue so, um, and then this one's from today. Historic flooding hits Hampton Beach, New Hampshire. So the flooding from this um, uh, is going to be, it's not just like what's from rain. It's the actual sea, like sea level, high tide oh, yeah. flooding. Yeah, high, high water. Okay. Yeah. So this is freaking nothing. An update. Man, why uh, is this seeing... ocean putting itself where all my buildings are? Yeah, exactly. In conditions along Hampton Beach. How are you holding up, Troy? Uh, Amy, I'm holding up pretty well. So is Adon, the photographer, right now. But uh, conditions are definitely worsening right now. Here, Adon, move past the way. Uh, look right behind you. Look at this one truck driving through this seam foam. Look at that. An absolutely wild scene. <laughs> Here at Hampton Beach, just take a look behind me right now. You can see all along the coast, all along the wall, there is just consistent water piling over and flooding Ocean Boulevard and even making it way past Ocean Boulevard and starting to flood some businesses. There's been a flash flood warning issued until one o'clock right now. But take a look at this. Not only is the so water building- Is this up, a wind issue? Like it's just forcing, it's forcing, the forcing the water? I tied in wind. Hmm. And it's also raining and snowing. Sandy and Coast, the water the continues to rise, the, uh, and there's just sea foam almost as far as the eye like can see. We were driving through it a little bit earlier, and it was tough, and it right right The driving conditions very dangerous. Hampton police just are starting to really be serious about blocking off some of these roads on Ocean Boulevard. You can see right here, 
even more water piling up my feet. Yeah, but Adon, I want you to look right over there. Yeah, you see all that sea foam clearing. Yeah, I just uh, pulled up. I just checked our, our temperature here, and it is zero degrees here right now yeah. with a wind chill of negative six is what it feels like outside at our house right now. We're doing our best to stay in control. Oh, boy, it is gross out here today, too. Ocean Boulevard, but the wind gusts have definitely picked up. They were in the mid 30s a little bit earlier this morning, but it definitely feels stronger right now. The strongest would be around 40 to 50 miles per hour. But guys, the conditions still worsening and the highest tide is supposed to come around 12, 20. We'll have more updates then. This was a couple hours. No sea foam images. Uh, are yeah, yeah, I bet it was worse. Yeah. All right, so that is our apolitical. Ah, wrong thing. Hit the wrong button. Saw the nakedness of my desk. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to have our silver lining closing and pull the thing. Actually, I'm going to do that again and make sure it comes on with the sound because I have mm. another one. Not going to Reload it, make sure. Okay. All right. So, final thoughts? Was there anything you wanted to talk back about anything in the episode? Uh, I, I, I honestly want to see, um, I was talking earlier about whether Boeing, you know, uses their own engines, which I don't think they do. I, I wonder what like what components they actually make, if any, or if they're just assemblers. I'm See, curious. Who makes oh, uh, just 737 Max 9. If you just look at the wiki, it'll tell you what engines are on it. Produced and designed, produced, and marketed by CFM International. CFM? You heard that. Interesting. But yeah, more more to my point though. I, I wonder what they're actually making. Yeah. I, I doubt it's much of anything. Probably few sludge. Um, which which means if you don't have a pretty good quality control check program in place, it, it would have already been a problem. Right. Somebody somebody made made choices. Made, somebody made bad choices. Well, if, if we're talking about it. Somebody made you know they made the dollar cutting right. choice. Right. And. The only thing we can hope for as consumers is that someone fucking gets nailed to the wall for it. Mm -hmm. Like it has to be scary to make that choice next time. Yeah. Or it's going to happen again and again. We don't do that that way here. We don't, we don't punish capitalists here. That's not how we call it. We punish the workers and the poor instead. Yeah. Okay. So I hope you got something something more silver than that. Uh, so we know the topics that we covered can be bleak. So we want to try and end our episodes on a positive note. Tonight's silver lining is. No one was seriously injured on that last plane. Mm. That is like my worst fucking idea. I just sitting on a plane and like you see the sky, like mm -hmm. like I would have been like double on my seatbelt, like kind of like, huh, huh, kind of like panic attack. Huh. Oh my god! Like the fact that even in that video, everybody on the plane was just calm and quiet. Like, they're all in shock. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it reminds, it reminds me of, nobody's screaming uh, nobody's panicking <laughs> reminds me in fight club when the guy's explaining the handbook mm -hmm. you know he's like oh there's a situation where you need a mask look at everyone calm as hindu cows <laughs> right because the, the oxygen relaxes you or whatever right now fuck you that's terrifying yeah exactly yeah there i'm, I'm glad, <laughs> glad no one got hurt yeah. yeah yep so that's the that was this was a dark episode so that was the, yeah. the only silver lining i could come up with from it uh it's a rough one so now we have our quote of the day. Mm. So, um, actually, I'm going to kill these in time just so I can read things you can see them on the screen. All right. Buddhism holds that everything is in a constant state of flux. Thus, the question is whether we are to accept change passively and be swept away by it, or whether we are to take the lead and create positive changes on our own initiative. While conservatism and self-protection might be likened to winter, night, and death, the spirit of pioneering and attempting to realize ideals evokes images of spring, morning, and birth. Very nice. All right, so let's check our chat. Everything is cool. Um, all right, go. Thank you there. So that's our show. Let me go ahead and get to this.
right here so it can make it easier for me to click later. <laughs> uh, that's our show. We hope you join us next time. Just a quick reminder to head on over to our website at divergentpolitics.com for links to all of our socials, membership signups, and the DP merch store. Let's have a great night. Have a good night. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching.